Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I know you guys read the title already, so you know what this video is going to be about. It is finally getting to... Oh, using this palette. Sailor Moon! I know I may seem a little calm about it now. All my friends who know me know how much I love Sailor Moon, but um, I've had a lot of time to kind of absorb this already. I've freaked out about it so much when it was announced and then I was literally like sweating trying to get this. It was like harder than getting Coachella tickets. In the end, I was only able to grab the palette and two of the ultraviolet lips, which is really what I wanted anyway. I don't think I would really use the glitters or... I mean, the blushers were a little bright, but they were really cute, so I just wanted it for the packaging, you know what I mean? But anyways, do you guys like my earrings? Look at this. I got this at a shop, a local shop in San Jose, so I will put the name of the shop here. Maybe you could find the artist that made these earrings through their shop. So let's just get into the eyes or the face. I already have a little bit of my face done today because I was out and about earlier going to work. Um, I have the e.l.f. concealer. This is a new concealer that I'm trying. It is the Hydrating Camel Concealer Satin Finish. Even though it says hydrating, I don't know if it's really that hydrating or maybe my skin is just really dry for the winter. I don't know, but um, I'm kind of sweating now just because it's like 80 degrees today. But um, I like the coverage. It is really high coverage. Like with this, I, I really don't think I'll ever need a foundation like I don't even own any more foundation so I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get one anytime soon because this one is so good other things I have um, Anastasia brow dip brow as usual and just a little bit of a tart blush do I have it with me I do not but it is called Parity with three A's um, yeah just for a little flush of color I am going to touch up my face right now because it is a little oily um from the day i'm not gonna reapply concealer or anything this video isn't really about the entire look it's just about the product the new products that i'm using oh my gosh that looks so much better already right okay let's give these eyebrows a little bit of a zhuzhing I'm not going to go back into the Anastasia Dip Brow. I'm going to use this brow pencil, which is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I think it is brown. What color is this? Deep brown. Um, I like using this just to kind of fill in um, this area so I'm too lazy to go back into with the uh, Dip Brow. Oh, look at that mirror action. What's up? I'm going to just kind of leave the blush that I already have on because I think we're just gonna put something over it later anyways um, so let's just start going to the eyes so I think I'm gonna do um, something with something with this color right here called love hmm all right I'm gonna take this color up here called twilight flash twilight flash right up here it is a matte kind of uh, peachy color I also, um, in the morning when I got ready, I threw on like some blush on my eyeshadows, but that's it. So I'm gonna take this fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into Twilight Flash. I am going to put this all over the lid. Just really packing it in there. Oh, bring that some bring that some bring some of that down here to the lower lash line oh my god i've also been like stabbing my eye with my uh, fingers so there's all these like red marks in my eyeballs we're gonna go back into that love color which is a shimmery um like berry strawberry color down here i am going to use a very skinny small tipped um flat brush see i've already kind of swatched it on this brush and if you guys know me you guys know what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna create kind of like a really thick liner with this color you want to make this really thick because i'm actually going to go in with an eyeliner later so Make it a little thick so that you can still see it when once you put the eyeliner on. Oh, that's looking a little crazy. Okay. 
I know it doesn't look like much now, but the shimmer color that we're gonna use will really save it. Go to the other eye. And again, bring it down to the lower lash line. Next, we're gonna go into Mare Serenitatis. Why do I not know that word? Am I not a big enough fan to even know what this name means? The shimmer color right here. Don't know. So we're gonna use our fingers to apply this over this crazy mess that we just did. <laughs> Hopefully it'll save it. Does it save it? Sure. So we're gonna go into eyeliner. This is the BFF liner in, what color are you? Joyride, it is a burgundy color. Look at this. Oh, nice and beautiful. I wanted to use something that wasn't a black because I think it's too harsh. But, you know, brown's a little, a little standard. Let's go with something burgundy and different. This liner is really creamy and it does take like a second to dry. So, uh, for me, since I, my eyelid creases are kind of funky, I uh, have to apply this liner and then kind of keep my head tilted like this while it dries so it doesn't crease and um, smear into my eyelid creases. And then try to draw the wing in um, parallel to that uh, hot pink wing that you did earlier with the shadow. Like I said, I couldn't get one of the glitterly obsessed glitters I was so bummed because even though I don't think I'd wear it often there was one that had like little moon cutouts in it oh, I really wanted that one um, so I'm gonna use a glitterly obsessed that I already own this one is called wish me luck oh my god can you even oh my look at that oh my god it's like a rainbow but it honestly I think it when I first reviewed this glitter I said it reminds me of Sailor Moon we're gonna put this into the corner of the eyes I'm actually gonna use the back of my brushes. Kinda throw it back here. So since I couldn't pick up any of the blushes, we're just gonna use one of the eyeshadows here, maybe mic mimic um, the blush colors because they were very bright. In all honesty, these two look pretty similar to the blush colors that they were offering. So, um, so I use this one on my eyes, I'm gonna use this one on my cheeks, go in with a very small brush so I can control it better and not get it everywhere. Um, eyeshadow is really pigmented, so, ooh. Maybe. Did that even do anything? <laughs> oh yeah. So since there weren't any highlighters in this collection, let's just go in with another eyeshadow. Let's go with Silver Crystal. It is like a beautiful champagne-y like pinky color. And I think it's like the Super Shock formula. Oh, look at that. Is that gonna be too pigmented for my cheek? Oh, let's be careful there. A little bit, a little, it's a little, okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Sure, why not? Why not? Let's just glow, right? The nose. I think we're finally gonna put the eyeshadow palette to the side and go in with the lippy. I'm gonna use Usagi, which is I think more of a warmer pink in comparison to the other one, which is Bunhead. But honestly, when I swatched it on my arm, they looked almost the same, um, which I'm not mad about because this packaging is super cute. Also, the texture of the lid on this one is, it's what do they call that? Like a soft matte touch or something? 
it feels really nice and it's just i'm just so happy to even have this in my collection mm -hmm. is this the first time i'm like putting it on my lips oh my god it's pretty bright i feel like they're more dry than the original ultra blot or like the other the past ultra blot lips that i have Mmm, it, it doesn't go on as wet initially. I feel like with the older ones, you had to wait for them to dry for a little bit, but this goes on like completely matte. Matte, I should say, not dry, because dry sounds kind of bad, but this goes on matte like immediately. Oh, it makes for a quicker application. Oh my god, I love that color. <gasps> All right, so I'm gonna speed you guys through this section, which is the eyelashes. I finally got a new mascara. Um, I stayed within the L'Oreal family because the last one I was using, using, using was the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and I tried a new one called not a new one, Hydrofuge Voluminous Carbon Black. Um, this one's not that good. I <laughs> I like the Lash Paradise one better. Um, even though I bought this in the waterproof formula, oh my god, at the end of the day, my I look like a raccoon. It is so terrible. I have to constantly check in the mirror to make sure that like all my mascara hasn't gone to the lower lids and I just look crazy. But um, I'm just using it up because I already bought it. It's the only mascara that I have. I don't want to waste it. It's okay. I feel like I need two coats of this to get one. what I would get with the just the... I, f I feel like I need two coats of this to get the results of just one coat of the Lash Paradise. So if you are looking for mascara, go with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise one. That was a long-winded explanation as to just don't buy this mascara. <laughs> and there we have it. Thank you for sitting through this craziness with me. I am sweating everywhere, y'all, like everywhere, everywhere. It is hot. But, oh my God, I love this look. I knew I would love the lippies and this is something that I would totally reach for and wear every day. I would repurchase this. I It's a little bit more pink than my favorite color, which is Doozy, but a little bit darker than my other favorite color, which is Slide. So it's just right in between and perfect. As far as the eyeshadows, I am really going to be challenging myself to use this palette because it's so colorful and bright. So, I mean, let me know if you guys want to see more looks. I did do like a little swatching that included the more purpley colors and those look really beautiful. So, maybe I can do that one next time for you guys. Um, here is the look of this one. <laughs> oh yeah, and the earrings. Make sure you check below for info about where you might be able to find them, okay? Oh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!